Good morning. It's still morning. Water and twelve. Today I'm troubled. There's so many things I want to talk about, but so little time. But like most of the speakers, I want to mention a little bit about this Springer debacle. And I'm gonna start by saying they were saying to you that they had to make this thing realistic for the children. Okay. So when you have a fire drill, who goes to um, the gas station and buy gas and throw up on the place and light it so we can have a fire drill? That does not make sense. All right, we had drills for state funerals. Let me have one next week then, so we can practice. If they want it um, realistic, I don't know who will want to be the, the, the candidate in the box. But according to them, you have to have re make it realistic. That is utter rubbish. I have been involved in drills from the time I was a boy. And we've never, I've been involved in one with the plane crash. I was a boy victim of the plane crash. Nobody put me up in a plane and break down the ground. These people are completely stupid. And you know why? You have these silly people running our institutions because they're mostly politicians. Everywhere you go, the Prime Minister of this country gets her man, well in this case, gets her woman um, to be principal of schools. And it is about time they stop this nonsense because they are putting people in place not because they have the ability but because they have allegiance to the Barbados Labour Party. And that is destroying our country. There is no principal of a secondary school in Barbados that became the principal unless the Prime Minister says yes. So you will have a situation where you have very competent people, but they will not get the job because the Prime Minister somehow don't think there be, there be enough. And it is not only the teaching service, and you bring, you bring drones to teach. This lady who did it at the spring school, people said they feel for her. I feel for her too. I feel that she should never be principal. Because they tell me, I wasn't there, that it came over the public address system without anybody knowing what was going on. Please don't kill me! And the children heard that. And then you see somebody running on the road with a cutlass and chopping up desks. What do you think 11, 12, 13, 14 year old children to do? You know? But she was among the favored. She was among the people that the Prime Minister thinks should be responsible for our children. She should go and go swiftly. And she should grab a cane by the heels and pull along with her. Because let me tell you something. I can, and, and you might not know about this, because it happened a number of years ago. There was a plane crash by Air India, which was state owned. And the Minister of Civil Aviation, who wasn't on the plane, who don't know how to fly a plane, who don't do nothing, resigned. You know why? Because there was a failure in his department. And he took responsibility. K takes responsibility for nothing. And she could tell you, she is resigning. That if she does not resign, the Prime Minister should take her out. And when the Prime Minister take her out, then the Prime Minister should say, well, look, I put too much burden on the people of this country. Let me all go. It's about time. All they need to go. Oh, yes, you are correct. All of them need to go because they have not shown so far that they can govern. And this is five years plus. How long are you going to wait for these people to learn what to do? You know? Okay, let me talk about this thing Kimar spoke about with the job in the water. It is not a joke. I saw Ryan Strong myself on the video sitting down at this IMF meeting telling the people we're going to take the sewage water and put it in the aquifer. 
They're, they're going to put it in the aquifer. All that means is that they're going to pump the sewage water in, in the underground system and the water authority can bring it for us to drink. Well, if you know water drinks any water, plant coconut trees. Because let me tell you, when it goes into the aquifer, everybody will get some. That is what we were fighting against when we, when we have these zone one areas, you got property in the zone one area and they don't let you build. Now these same people making the zone one area smaller and want to put, and they said tertiary treated. Not that, 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 that tertiary treated my foot. Water table that, water table we have good portable water right now in Barbados and it has been so for me time I know myself. I went to Mexico and they told us use bottled water. Don't even brush your teeth with this water. Mind you, the Mexicans were drinking it and nothing happened to them because they're used to it. But the group that I went now with, the fellas decided they didn't drink any water but they asked for scotch on the rocks. The rocks they met with ice. My those fellas had a torrid time. In and out of the toilet. As a matter of fact, they had enough toilets for them. This is what they want to do with us. We are not used to drinking this nonsense. We are not we are used to drinking good portable water. And the water authority would put a little chlorine in it to kill any little bacteria and stuff. But they're not going to kill the E. coli in the water when you pass it through the aquifer and let it um, pump up there. If that water was so good, you wouldn't have to put it in the ground to pump it back out. You would put it straight in the tank. If you got poor, pure portable water, or people like to say portable, if you got pure portable water, why would you then put it in the ground and then say, well, we can pump it back again? For what? This is ridiculous, and this is what your government is doing to you. Now, if you don't want to drink, I don't want to say the S word because it don't sound proper, but if you don't want to drink that S word, I but um, if you don't want to drink it, stand up, tell the people, hell no. This is what we vote for. As a matter of fact, I don't feel that we voted for this. I do not believe, for what I'm seeing, that the elections in Barbados were free and fair and they get all 36 a second time. I am not convinced. But that goes back to the Prime Minister being in control of everything. She decides who will be Chief Electoral Officer. She decides who will be the three out of the five people on the Electoral Boundaries Commission. She decides who will be Commissioner of Police. She decides all those things. So when you have an issue where you have to deal with them, you can't because all of them owe her. All. And what she's doing now, she is not appointing a lot of these people permanently so they can stand up to her. She's giving them three-year contracts. Like this chief education officer, I understand she's on contract. Poor girl, even if she knew what to do, and I doubt it, but even if she knew what to do, and she did it, her contract will not be renewed. That is the problem we are having. We have too much interference. Prime Minister Mayor Motley has her hand in too many holes. I mean, pies. Spice, spice, spice. And we have the she take them out. We have the her take them out. And right now they're talking about constitutional reform. Well, this is the time for that. This is the time when the power of the prime minister and has should be curtailed. Mind you, we had a, a few prime ministers before her, and none of them have been so bad. Not even Sandy. She making Sandy for look good. We making Sandy for look like a giant. 
because the way this lady is behaving, she is that whoever was the worst prime minister, she decided, well, I don't want the bodies to get any titles. I can tell you all. So this fellow was the worst prime minister, and now she decided, well, uh, he can't be get that title. I want it too. She has gone overboard. She has run this country to ruin. And she is doing it. I don't know if it is to please the international community so that she can become the Secretary General because nobody asks her. This is something that she is trying to put herself in place for. But the poor foolish woman should know that if she is going to be Secretary General, she's going to get Russia to help she. So you see what I want to Putin? She is smart. She is not smart. A lot of people feel that she's smart because she has a good memory for her um, and she can read anything. She can't analyze. But mind you, I would want her to go anywhere as long as in Barbados. We tell me that it's her last election, but I pray that it is. And I hope that she call election soon. <laughs> or we will force her to call it. If she does not call elections, she, we will have to force her to call elections in Barbados. And we can do it, you know. We can stay home. We can stay home and let them run the country by themselves. Because let me tell you, you do not know how powerful you are. That is why she has ensnared, I call it ensnared, the union leaders. She has ensnared the union leaders so that nobody will oppose her. She even tried with me, poor fella. But I don't, I don't want the big money. I don't know if I'm foolish. But I, dis I had to tell her no on three occasions. And then she sent somebody else with a fourth. And I had to tell her no too. All right? But the rest ain't doing that. The rest, the money. The rest of them ain't doing that. And you should not be as union members paying somebody to act against your interests. No way. And that, but that is what you're doing. You said no way, but that is what you're doing. No when you give yeah. Barbados Workers Union $26 a month, you are paying them no to disadvantage you. You are paying them to side with the government against you. And there's only one way to stop that. Buy a chicken, twenty-six dollars. But buy a chicken, a small window, buy a chicken nonetheless. Spend twenty-six dollars. I'm telling you to bring and get the unity. Buy a chicken. You should not be supporting them to hurt you. Name something that this government has done that was positive for the people of this country. Just tell me. I'm waiting. I mean, everything that they have done was to our detriment. They have not done anything in the best interest of Barbados. Let me start with the, 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 um, the tax on water. You have people in Barbados who were paying $32 a month, like some hotels in Barbados. Because we got some hotels in Barbados that was paying $32. And you tax $32 by putting a $45 in position on that? You, you, a, a tax should be a percentage, a small percentage of what you think. No, you pay $32 for, for a bill, and you're going to pay $45 for a tax. That attacks the poorest of the poor. Because some of those same people who did not have the money to pay $32, but did they got the money to pay $45 in addition to that? No, she didn't care. You know, those are the same people walking about the road with a red t-shirt on saying that she cares. I would tell you what she cares about, the police will take me off this platform, so I can't tell you. But it's certainly not the people of this country. The people at Springer School went through this terror. Where is the Prime Minister? Where, what did she say? What has she done? 
what, what is she doing? Is she ready to bring all of us speak? Then to come and play, she trying to show us down? No, that's not how a leader works. She should have been out there in front of K. But I'm behind K because she's going to give her kick in her backside. Taking her out and said, This is not good enough. You know? But no, she is nowhere to be seen. She a Bible minister? No, 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 Because I don't know. Because she is never here. She is the absentee prime minister of Barbados. I have seen several prime ministers started with our bar. So I saw all of them. And when they were leaving the country, we knew. You know when we know that men leave the country, when there's a crisis and then they put that foolish girl and I'm watching them. Where's she? Santia. And I said, the prime minister out. That's what we know. A leader of this country should not be behaving like that. But she's too busy. She's too busy for Barbados. She's too busy to deal with the things that matter to Barbados. Now if she is too busy to deal with our issues, she should go too. And I don't want her to go by herself. She should take all of them along with her. Yeah. Or else, they will destroy this country because they are well on the way to destruction now, you know. Because when you tamper with the police force and you make sure that the police force are BLP people, you tamper with the defense force to make sure that the command of the defense force is my people. You're setting up a situation where if the people of this country vote you out, you can say, hell no, I got my army. Because don't forget, and I always want you to remember, we had a case in Barbados where some senior policemen put the government before the court. They lost. They went to the court of appeal. They lost. So they decided they would go to the Caribbean Court of Justice. And they went to the Caribbean Court of Justice. Having lost twice, you would have expect another one. But what happened? Just before the case was about to start, this government gave instructions to the lawyers to tell them, tell the court that we can settle. Settle what? Settle the loss? Pay those people a bond of money and then promote them. I think what's the commissioner now? That is what they have done. They are trying to carry favor with the people who they can use against us. But the police aren't stupid. The police got children too. The police got mothers, the police got grandmothers and daughters. And some of them might even got children at Springer. Because I know, thank God, my days with childbearing are gone. Because if I had a child at Springer, I would not be here today. I'm not saying I will do anything violent. I just tell you I will not be here today. I'm at the home crying. You never know. But something needs to be done about the entire system of government and Barbados. It has been corrupted. The major corrupting factor is called Mia Motley. She will change everything. You remember when she was Attorney General first? They wanted to put condoms in prison. Yeah. I have never read, so I don't know how you do it. But I assume that if you're gonna rape a fella, you ain't gonna tell the whole on body, I can rape you so let me put on a condom. You know? That would make no sense to me. So if that was not rape, then she was encouraging yeah. homosexuality in the prison. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now they want us to be this LBGT, whatever, Q plus, 2R, whatever else they, they have now. She behind all these things. What, what, wait, wait, tell me something. What happened to Beijing? Beijing pretend that they don't know who she was and voted for her. Well, it's about time you decide, well, look, I made a mistake and we got to get her out because everybody makes mistakes. Everybody. Look. The only body that doesn't make a mistake is the fellow called Jesus. 
And trust me, she ain't close. So she can make them. But when these mistakes are so horrendous, you gotta pay for them. You got to pay for them. You cannot allow this government to go up on scale. Ignore the people of this country. Do what they want to do and don't care. You remember she was up there with the Rick saying, she don't give up. I don't know what the other thing because I didn't hear, you know, and I'm not one of those fellas. Because I just give her ever so often. You know, so trust me, if she does not care and she does not give up, you know what? What is she doing running this country? You should really care. My member, she used to care, but as soon as you get she divorced, she don't give her, you know what. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end of our march, but trust me when I tell you, this is not the end. We now have to go, because every week, there's going to be something new. We never thought the last time we marched here that we'd be talking about spring. Huh? We never thought, but here we are. And this debacle, this prayer debacle, I can start with it, and I can finish with it. This prayer debacle is enough for a lot of resignations. And if you don't you resign, you should be fired. And if the person who can fire does not fire, then we can fire them. And we need to do that. Thank you all so much for listening to me, and we, I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Brother Caswell. We heard from the Minister of Education yesterday with a smirk on her face that she's saying that she's not going to resign. But of course, she can't say that. Because the persons that are responsible for the leadership of governance, the persons that are responsible for education are telling us that they do not have to be held accountable. So it is left up to the parents to recognize that we have been warning you about those persons that have been left in the responsibility of your children. You know that your children are not safe when they are left in their possession, when they are left to go to school with them. So what are you going to do as a parent? The reality is that you should no longer feel that any government should silence your voice. It is your democratic right. It is your God-given right to stand up for your children. This is the second time that this government has found the necessary status and to dominate parental rights and do whatever they feel is right for your children. Can you imagine the trauma that those children have been going through? Yet still we are seeing the Minister of Education is coming and smiling and smirking on television while you have to see how your child will wake up and feel comfortable to go back into that same school. Brothers and sisters, parents, the time is now to request that the Minister of Education resign from her post. And if you do not wish that she resign, then we have to take the Prime Minister to charge. It is your responsibility to ensure that anyone that you put in the responsibility of the care of our children, that they are responsible and they are held accountable for any mishaps, for any harm, whether it's physical or psychological, that they have to face the consequences. We are not accepting any more apologies. The first instance, you harm them through the survey. This instance, children will children suffered physical and psychological pain what more do you want for our children to die in their care we are calling again for the minister of education we believe that you have breached the rights of children that you have breached the safety in school and that we request that you do what is ethical and we withdraw from your position as the minister of education if you wish you can be reassigned to another post. Perhaps you can go to the prisons where you deal with hard criminals, but we do not want you around our children, nor our minors, because you are not capable of keeping them safe. And when you do things that are harmful to them, you come back and you smile in our faces as if our children do not matter. 
We have to take a stand in this country because it's important that we have to protect our children. This government feels that they own our children. They do not own our children. We send them to school, you give them the necessary education, but you consent, you get our consent, anything to do with the physical, emotional and spiritual nature and itself. We again requesting that the Prime Minister, this is the second time that you have disregarded the voices of parents. You have told us that you will come and speak with us. When have you ever spoken with parents on these matters? What do you do? You send them to apologize and smirk disrespectfully in the faces of parents when they have to deal with their children. Do you imagine what these children have to go through? We want to ask the Minister of Education, the CEO of Education, and even the Prime Minister, you ever had anybody run behind you with a Collins before? You've ever felt like what it is for you to be attacked by unknown individuals? But you'll have adults thinking to do, this is something acceptable to do that to children, to minors, and you have the audacity to talk about the protection of children's rights, the protection of children's rights. The Democratic Labour Party stands firm with parents and we expect that the government of this country do what is necessary and begin to respect the rights of parents and respect the rights of all citizens in this country. There is a teacher now on suspension since last last term, the term before, for impregnating of a child 14 years old. And nobody bring a charge against him yet. He's been suspended and they're supposed to be doing an investigation. No? The ministry don't do an investigation or anything. The ministry calls the police, that's a crime. The child is a minor. And this principal. So what so what happens there? Huh? They're interested in the children. And because I don't want to call any names of anybody, or because and because they're so it's easy to tell who it is if you if I disclose the actual position that the person is in, but the ministry knows about it. The person has been suspended and it been off all the last term and so far this term is off and nothing has happened. I don't know if you checked the they're gonna get the baby yet. But um this is what's happened in this country and it's talking about children.